My name is Bruce Fine. I'll be testifying for Campaign for Liberty before the House Judiciary Committee this Wednesday, May 11th. Uh, according to the title of the hearing, it's the USA Patriot Act Dispelling the Myths. Uh, I certainly will be dispelling myths, but I don't believe they're the myths that the committee contemplates expelling or exposing. Uh, the myth of the USA Patriot Act is that the only abuses that are worthy of uh, attention are those perpetrated by the FBI by overstepping their bounds, which has been done by, in one case, in a roving wiretap, listening in on the conversations of children. Uh, but those uh, are not uh, numerous. Uh, the real uh, abuses of the Patriot Act is that it exists at all. Uh, there have been millions of abuses under the Fourth Amendment because the United States Constitution's default position that doesn't need to be defended is liberty. The liberty of you and me to be left alone from government. Unless, and this is the only exception, there's probable cause to believe we are implicated in crime or that we hold evidence of crime. Those are the two exceptions made in the Fourth Amendment. But otherwise, the idea of the United States of America is liberty is more important than the convenience of law enforcement. We would rather be free and have some risks than be absolutely safe and be vassals to the government of the United States. That's what America is about. And that's what the Patriot Act turns on its head and why this hearing in some sense is an opportunity to, to underscore how we've got to repeal all of the Patriot Act, not just the three provisions that are up for renewal, and restore to the United States of America you know, that fame that we once had as being the paladin of liberty because we do not fear risk. Those who enacted the Patriot Act acted out of weakness, not of strength. The weakness fearing anybody who created any risk at all required destroying the liberties of all Americans, uh, engaging in searches and seizures because there's simply some relevance at some future time information might help thwart an act of international terrorism. Hypotheticals that conceivably could happen but are so low on the totem pole they do not justify encroaching on the right to be left alone, the most cherished right among civilized people. Now this isn't to say if those out there in the American community wish to volunteer all of their information to the FBI, that's their entitlement. They can do that. But if you want to be left alone, you like your seclusion, you don't want the government to know every nook and cranny of your existence, you have a right to tell the government you cannot cross my threshold unless you have probable cause to believe there's a crime is occurring. And those are the standards that have been totally abandoned by the Patriot Act. Under the Act, even if there's no suspicion of crime, the United States government can spy on you if they say, we think that you're acting on behalf of a foreign government or a foreign terrorist organization. You're never even alerted to the fact they spy on you. They could have huge databases. Maybe you don't get a job, you don't get a loan, you don't get admitted to education, you don't know why. Well, maybe the information leaked out. We know that all government officials are not benevolent. Some of them are very malicious. But the key point is, in the United States of America, there's one thing we stand for, it's that liberty comes before the convenience of law enforcement. And unless you pass that threshold of probable cause to believe you're implicated in crime, the government must leave you alone.